This is the brand new Zygu X6200, proudly presented to you and available from Radio Oddity. The X6200 is one of the latest designs in SDR transceivers, covering from 160 meters right up to 10 meters, plus with the inclusion of the magic 6 meter band. Reception on the broadcast band using wide FM and the air band using AM is also possible with the X6200. All modes are covered when with the included 3200 mAh battery, you can expect to operate up to 5 hours, depending on transmit sessions. The X6200 features a 4-inch high-resolution colour screen, which displays waterfalls, scopes, audio plots and more. The inbuilt automatic tuner will always ensure that you're operating at maximum efficiency in any environment. And with the integrated sound card, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, the Zygu X6200 offers easy wireless control and connectivity, making setup operation a breeze. Now in the box, we find a well-written user's manual covering most features and functions of the X6200. A USB to USB-C cable is provided. Now this is used for data and audio control from your computer. The included mains charger will charge the included 3200 mAh rechargeable battery, or alternatively, you can charge the internal battery and power the X6200 from an external power supply using the included DC cable. A high quality multifunction microphone is also included, along with a high quality RJ45 terminated microphone cable which connects between the microphone and the X6200. Included battery is replaceable and rechargeable, meaning you can swap batteries extremely easy and quickly while out portable. Now on the left side, we find the antenna connection in the form of a BNC. Also on this side, you'll see a DC power socket for charging or powering the radio using an external power source. On the right side, we have a host USB-C, a dev USB-C, an SD card slot, a 3.5mm speaker socket, a 3.5mm Morse key socket, and a 3.5mm accessory socket, which can be used in conjunction with a compatible X125B 100W Zygu amplifier. You'll also notice the RJ45 microphone socket for when using that included multifunction microphone. The main VFO is located on the right side just under that front facing speaker. The top left rotary control allows quick access to the volume RF gain and squelch controls, while the lower multifunction knob allows quick access to features and function settings. Using the outer ring to maneuver between options and then the inner control to alter the value. Now pressing on the multifunction control will also confirm that selection. The X6200 features an inbuilt microphone, meaning you can use the top located PTT button to transmit directly from an X6200 without the need for a microphone to be attached, essentially using the radio like a walkie talkie. Also near the PTT button, you'll find the band and mode change buttons. And on the opposite side of the radio, you'll find the VFO button to allow you to choose between VFO A or B. The ATU enable or tune button is also located here, along with the FST button, which will change the step in which the VFO tunes the receive and transmit frequency. Digital modes can also be decoded in real time, such as FT8, with the decoded messages shown on screen. RTTY, CW and BPSK can also be decoded directly on the radio itself without any external software or computer connected. Being so short, uh, yeah, the band's very weird at the moment. Uh, signals are all over the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're 15 dB over nine. You've gone down to an S4 now, Roger. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, thanks for the call anyway, and uh, I'll see if anybody else is around, then I think I've got a few RCs for a while. For more information or to purchase the Zygu X6200, and please visit the Radio Oddity website.